Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am just here with Tai Tai. Hello baby. Um, and we're gonna be reviewing some dog toys and dog products and stuff like that today. So I'm very excited to show you guys what we got from this cool company called New Chic. And actually I'm gonna be completely reviewing them based off of what I actually feel. Um, they did send us these products, but this is not a sponsored video and it's also an unbiased review. So I'm gonna be telling you guys what I actually think of everything. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing what we got for Tai Tai, then please keep watching. All right, so let's start. Tyson's like excited. All right, so first thing that we got is this cooling mat. I don't exactly know how it works yet. Let me see. Okay, so I have yet to figure this out. Let me look it up real quick. I have thought that it's supposed to work on its own, like it's automatically supposed to be cooling. But let me see, give me one sec. Okay, so this is supposed to be a pressure activated cooling pad and I think you're supposed to leave it in a cool place for about like 30 minutes and then try it out. It has been pretty cold in the room at night and in the morning it doesn't feel that cool. He doesn't really seem to lay on it anyway. I think the fabric might be a little bit rough. He's walking on it right now. Go lay right here. You don't want to? No? Yeah, he doesn't really like to go on it and we had it on the floor like laying out last night he didn't really care for it so we probably won't be using it but um yeah when it's hot it's supposed to cool the pet down and i haven't really seen it work but maybe i'm just not doing it right um who knows but the next thing that we have on the list is this travel bag which i love the design that it came in but i'm pretty sure i ordered like a large and i feel like this is meant for a really, really small dog, and he's small, but he's very, like, hefty, so he definitely, like, wouldn't be able to fit in this. And also, it's not that sturdy, and he's, like, 25 pounds, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is bound to break through, because the end is, is literally just, like, the smallest, like, piece of fabric ever. So I'm gonna say a pass on this. Maybe if you have like a little chihuahua or a super, super light teensy dog, these would work just because, yeah, it's just not very durable and uh, steady fabric. So yeah, I'm not gonna be using this, but I really like the design of it and the concept. It's just, I feel like it was um, executed poorly, if that makes sense. All right, next thing we have is a pooper scooper. It's wrapped up because we did use it when we were at Oscar and Kira's house. It does work pretty well, like it's not bad. It's just hard to pick up multiple poops at a time, you know, because I don't want to show you guys because it's been used, but um, you kind of just like pull this up and it opens and then you grab it and it scoops it up. But you have to keep doing one by one because once you open it, if you already have poop in there, it's just going to fall out. So that's the only thing that I would say is bad about this. Um, everything else is pretty good. Um, if you have a dog that doesn't poop a lot, I guess, <laughs> then this is good for you. But there's three dogs here, so this probably wouldn't be useful. It's easier for us to pick up the poop with like a bucket and like a shovel, so. All right, next thing we have, I have yet to try this on Tyson, but this is a life jacket. And as you know, bulldogs actually sink in water and they can't really swim very well, so. I'm gonna try this on him. It looks very big though, so I don't know, maybe it might fit him. It looks really big though. He's laying on the ground. <laughs> I wanted him to be in the video sitting next to me, but he just like does not feel like it. Baby, what are you doing? Come up here. He's not interested. All right, let's put this on him and see. I'm gonna get him up here to do that. Come here. Look. Actually, Oh, it looks so funny. He is so confused. Oh my god, he looks like I'm torturing him. Baby, <laughs> why are you so sad? Look, it's a little life jacket. Yeah, I don't know how that... <laughs> oh, it's so cute though. Hold on, let me get Robert. I need Robert to see this. Look at your son. <laughs> it fits him. It's like a little bit big, but he like again? he's like not excited. He, he looks like he's being tortured. You want to show off to your friends? Come yeah, on. go show them. Come on. Dude, he's like pissed. 
Put him on the ground. <laughs> He's embarrassed, Robert. <laughs> Is it a shark? Yes. Isn't it cute? He doesn't like it though. He's really mad that I put it on. All right, so he did look funny in that, but he was kind of mad that I put him in it. So let's not do that again. If I was going to put him in the water, though, I would get an expensive life vest just to make sure that it does the job, you know, because this is pretty thin. So I don't know how well it would actually hold him up. But I mean, I don't think it's bad quality at all. I just think the sizing is a little bit off. I don't remember what size I got him, but oh, yeah, this is a medium. And to me, it kind of looks like a large. So I don't know. I mean, it fit him. It was just slightly big, but yeah. Next thing we got <laughs> is like my favorite thing. Sadly, it doesn't fit him, but this is so cute. And this was actually supposed to be his Halloween costume, but it didn't get here on time. So unfortunately, we couldn't put him in it, but it wouldn't have fit him anyway. It's very, very small. Okay, so this is supposed to be a medium and it's literally like so so small like so small this is definitely like an extra small size so i'm a little bit disappointed in that because this is so freaking cute and i would love to have put him in it let me see if i could even just like try i don't want to squeeze him he's gonna get mad at me again <laughs> yeah it's not gonna go on his arms but that would have been so cute if you could have put this on baby yeah that's not gonna go around him at all you're a little beefy guy huh huh like sleepy are you sleepy that's why you're being like this this is good quality it's actually really really soft and warm um well <laughs> fell. um but it's really cute so i definitely recommend this i think just order like two sizes up next thing is this toy which she actually loves and they actually sent us two of them for some reason i don't really know why but let's see it should squeak where's the squeaker so much last night oh he's so tired <laughs> okay well anyways but yeah this is really cute um it's not super bad quality let me show you guys up close um it has like i don't know what this material is but some of like the toughy dog toys are made of the brand in between these little like soft pieces so this is actually good quality and the squeaker is nice um so i would highly recommend this little dinosaur toy he likes it a lot when he's in the mood so yeah this i highly recommend all right next thing we got <laughs> i got these because i thought that we were going to be staying in utah in utah where it's going to be super super cold why are you interested in these these you hate um unfortunately they're really really small let me see what size i got I got him a size 3. I don't remember what size that's supposed to be. I think it's like a medium or a small or something like that. So they're just these little booties um, with some like Sherpa inside. And they just like Velcro open. You put your dog's little footsie in there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at me. Do you want to put your footsie? I don't think his foot's going to fit, but let me try. Can we try something? Can I try to do it, please? Yeah, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> it's like really, really small. I don't know if you can see how small it is. It's definitely not gonna fit his footsie. Robert's mom actually has a smaller dog than Tyson, so I think her feetsies will fit in here. I don't know if she'll ever use them because, I mean, we're in LA. It's not very cold usually, so I think a size up again would work better on these. Next thing we have is this leash. It's supposed to be really, really, really durable. Um, but Robert kind of was like messing with it last night just to see if it would really really be durable and it's stretchy I don't think it will break, but it's definitely like really stretchy So I don't know how good of a quality the rope actually is, but I think it's nice. It looks nice and It's comfortable to have around your hand. So yeah Nothing bad to say about this one. It's just a leash next thing we have is this supposed to be like a rocket so when you throw it it's supposed to go really really far i could tell here he likes this when he's looking at it like hmm huh, what is that excuse the mess right there hey okay you want to launch it let's go 
Can't really throw it far in here, but he likes it. And he loves playing fetch, so I think that will be a win-win situation. So, yeah, that one I highly recommend as well. I think what I'm learning throughout this video as well is that um, the toys are much better quality than, like, the clothes and, like, the accessories and stuff like that. Um, but then again, like, this isn't, it's not like a dog brand. It's, like, kind of like a wish sort of thing. So different brands send them stuff, I guess you could say. But, yeah, I think the toys are better quality than anything else. Okay, and next thing is going to be this little raincoat. It came in this little baggie right here. Okay, so this straps underneath, but this is what it looks like. It's like a little, little raincoat. I think this might fit him, actually. It looks like maybe his size. He's looking at it. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Oh, it almost fits him. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is way too small. But... It's a really cute concept though. <laughs> like he would look really cute in it if it fit him. Yeah, it won't even fit around his big old neck. So again, size up definitely. And the last thing um, I'm actually really excited about, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we can try it out right now. This pet water bottle. So how this is supposed to work is um, you fill the bottom portion up with water and then um, flip it on. And then you just press this button right in the middle here and it's supposed to open a little well so that the water can come out into here and then they can drink out of this portion. So I'm gonna try it. When it comes with a cute little strap, you can strap it onto your leash or whatever. I mean, obviously you have to have more water. So if this is full all the way, you just press the button. You don't even have to tilt it and it will come out. Um, but since I don't have that much water, I have to like tilt it. But it is coming out and I have some water in here. Let me see if he'll actually drink out of it. Look, you want some wawas? Look, look what's in there. I'm just drinking it. Wow, good job. So yeah, I do highly recommend this product. Um, it actually works very well, and I think if you um, flip this little switch, it will lock this button so that if you're walking around, like it won't leak or anything like that. But this little guy seems to like it, so I'm definitely going to be using this when we go on hikes or walks and stuff like that. Huh, baby boy? He's like, can I have more, please? <laughs> But yeah, so in conclusion, I liked a few of the things. Again, a few of the other things could have been either better quality or I could have just done like a size up and it would have been fine. But yeah, nothing really bad to say about the company. The only thing is really slow sh shipping. So again, sort of the same concept as Wish, um, where the shipping is really slow and you don't really know what you're going to get when you get the item. But yeah, nothing too bad to say about any of these right here. They are affordable prices, so nothing here was very expensive. Yeah, I'll have everything linked down below if any of you decide to get anything. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we've never really done like a full dog-based video on this channel, but I do want to do more. I love doing little puppy hauls and stuff like that, so... Yeah, if you guys want to see more dog-related videos, then go ahead and comment down below. Let's see, what should you comment? Just comment a dog emoji if you want to see more dog videos. Are you ready to say bye-bye? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs>